Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. We are heading back from our excursion out to the Silver Patch. It has been a very long and dark road home, but we are just about there. Here is the beach. Our beach. And if you can see in the distance there up on the hill, that was actually the mining rig. And if you can see just barely, you can make out the base from here. Oh, man. Uh, uh, relatively uneventful drive. Um, we got our silver. We loaded up on it. We drove back around the head of the river. So that way we didn't have to cross it again and flip the rover again. And made it all the way back to the... Made it all the way to the titanium deposit. Mined a bunch of titanium. And then it was a simple overland back home. Didn't run into any enemies that I couldn't just give a wide berth. And just drove back. We were finally back. It has taken a little while. We've done it. I'll park on up here and need to take that propulsion override back down to zero. I ended up there at 100% because... This thing, like, this is full push. It doesn't get started very quickly when it's fully loaded. This thing is heavy. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit of annoying here to uh, unload. We don't really have a good spot for it. But we'll just try to pull it in here beside the base and park it up and leave it there. Uh, I think in total, let's see. We made it back with 27% hydrogen left. So, kind of along our lines of what we said to ourselves. Like, we want to go one-third to get there, one-third to uh, get back, and one-third if there's issues. In which case, there was a little bit of issue where we uh, flipped the rover. <laughs> but uh, we managed to uh, correct that and get back before anything went terribly wrong. But we got, I think it was like 40,000 tar, 20,000 silver, and 50,000 titanium, which is absolutely amazing quantities of resources. So while that episode we just did is all about exploration and gathering resources, this episode is going to be all about uh, pr producing stuff out of those resources, processing them, and improving our infrastructure as we need to set up the oil sands um, production line. See what products we get out of those because I think, oh no, ooh, the sun is coming. Very good, I can turn off my headlights now. My, uh, my suit's flashlights. As, yeah. We need to see what we can make out of this tar. Uh, I'm uh, pretty sure I can get some gunpowder. I might need niter. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if we do, I shall either find some or buy some. But if we don't, we can immediately get into some gunpowder and make a bunker version 2 that has much better weaponry. We also have this silver here that I'm unloading. We'll be able to add a survival kit to the base, which would be very helpful, uh, which I just want to check here. Uh, the industrial assembler can make metal components. So let's do that immediately. Uh, industrial assembler, I would like you to have a hundred medical components on hand at any one time, please. That would make me very happy because now we have the silver to do that. That will allow me to add a survival kit to essentially any base or grid that I want and my uh, you know things that can go wrong that would end the series is <laughs> drastically diminished because I am not going to randomly uh, explode and then the only thing saving me is this little wave rider parked down here ah and I, because I drove so far away my little unpowered uh, blocker thing uh, despawned Good thing the, the wave rider is all plugged in. 
And you should be all plugged in, right? You still can actually see the base, right? Uh, your battery is is depleting. Interesting. I wonder if these uh, chargers here. If I remake that connection, now I can see everything. And if I remake my battery here, now it's fully charged. I wonder if there's issues with the chargers where if you like drive far off away, they become untethered. Uh, it doesn't seem to have done that to... I mean, it doesn't seem to have done that to my turrets here, right? You... I can, I can see here and then, yeah, I can still see the rest of the grid. Okay, so at least those are functioning. And like, if I wanted to check here, pop myself over to the iron mine, it's still there. Which I should probably just put like a, um, even just on the ground here, just a wind turbine. So that if this ever does get disconnected, it's not an unpowered grid and it doesn't get removed, you know, that kind of thing. But, Right now, we have to think about infrastructure. Those resources that we have are being processed. Well, the titanium and the silver are. But the oil needs specialty blocks. Namely, the bitumen extractor, which takes um, crude oil from the oil sands. And the oil cracker, which takes that crude oil and turns it into various products. Um, also, some stuff we can do because we just simply have the resources to do it is a microelectronics factory. Uh, we shall see what we need after we, uh, like, we'll see what we need to create the uh, advanced computers, thermocouples, sensors, cl sensor clusters, and displays within here after we get this thing up and running. And then uh, the chemical refinery uh, refines lithium, niter, sulfur, and extracts pure carbon from coal. We probably want to set that up, but I'm not sure. We, we'll, we'll do that last. I want to see what the um, the bitumen extractor does first. So it's got a pass-through on that one side, nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top. So I'm thinking, because we've got these conveyors right there that this thing can plug into, we could just do it like this. We just go thunk, right there and bitumen extractor. Which works. Uh, we've got this coming down here. So we got the conveyor access continuing forward. And the bitumen extractor would just be right there. I like that. So let's get that thing plunked into position. Right like so. And he, he starting to be welded up. As we just need two steel plates. One steel plate. Ah, there we go. Everything. And that quick edit later, the bitumen extractor is online and it's, ooh, it spins. That's cute. Let's see. It is producing tar into crude oil. Excellent. This is then used in the incinerator or the oil cracker. So the oil cracker is next. Now this is a Big chonky boy. Okay. Um, geez. It's got one input. Oh, and it's got an output there on the front. Okay. Uh, but it's also got a walkway up top. I wonder. I think this would fit actually quite nicely. It's what is this? Five wide? Yeah, I think it would fit quite nicely right there. I might have to move some of those turrets and such. But. It wouldn't fit here. This is only three wide. It could theoretically fit there, but that's kind of silly. But I'm thinking we run a conveyor out to here. Actually, just conveyor further. We can do the one with supports. Bracket, bracket. And I also put brackets here going this way. And if we need to in the future, we can... Uh, remove those and make them, uh, say, like, more wire drawers or something along those lines. But we can conveyor out this way. 
to the junction. And I can still steal uh, resources from that one there. together. Then when we place this one down, well, we shouldn't have any issues. It'll cover all that up, but we'll still have the conveyor port here on the far side in case we need to uh, place something there. Um, wait a second. I, I was just thinking about, like, I remember the, the shape of the microelectronics factory. I could have used, used, used this as a pass-through. I gotta put this in the wall. Oh, I should totally do that. Oh, I feel kind of bad cutting this down now. Ah, well, I wasted a little bit of resources. Oh, wait, no, wait, these are getting stuff from their sides. Okay, they're good. They don't need their bottom access. If I put the microelectronics factory there, it acts as a pass-through, and it just makes everything ha happy hunky-dory. There we go. And plunk. Is that the way, right, right, right way around that I want it? Ah, oh, yeah, that's the, the side where you can actually see stuff on the outside of it. And yeah, I'm just gonna take the rest of the stuff out. Now to throw all the construction components, which is understandable. The fabricator is probably going nuts trying to, uh, to make them all. prioritized here, which I most likely need to uh, create another couple fabricators and put them on uh, cooperative mode. Help this one out. But yeah, can get this bad boy all fixed up. Put me one more. Microelectronics in position. We'll get the uh, last bit from that conveyor belt here. And now we can slap down the oil cracker. Which I am definitely not going to have space in my inventory for. And with that, I'm thinking, because it's got the... Because uh, it's really tall, it's got the walkways up top. I can build a walkway to it, and then from it up into the tower, which might look kind of cool. Uh, but this is one of these things that is so damn huge that I'm actually tempted to build a uh, welder to weld it. I mean, all these large steel tubes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just build a welder. This is where it gets silly, and why you should just build a welder sometimes. Alright, I gotta clear that off there, and put all that stuff away and grab stuff for a welder. I need construction components and copper wire. A. Uh, that case. Build me construction components, you silly thing. Stop using up my wires. Also, just need six more wires, 17 more construction components. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Where can I place this? That it will work. Ah, I can do, do it. I can do it up here. This will work. It'll also, um, actually, if I place it like so, because this is adjacent to the block, if I place it like this, it should just build that one thing, right? It should. At least that's what I hope it'll do. And then Monsieur Welder will make my great big uh, extractor. And on. What? You're adjacent. You're not going to build? Ah. No. <sighs> All right, fine. I guess I've got to... That makes me sad. <laughs> I used up all those components for nothing. Boo. And now I got a bunch of scrap. Okay. Uh, I still want to 
do that, but I'm just going to have to place it in a different spot. That's all. We're going to have to put it here. Directly facing that way. It's going to get... It's going to weld up some of the floor as well. But that's okay. And we'll run it off of a, uh, uh, a corner here with uh, some conveyor. And this should work. If this doesn't work, I'm very, very sad. And um, I'm going to uh, write a sternly worded letter to the, uh, the mod maker <laughs> to fix his uh, boundary boxes. There we go. Now you're building. Yeah, see the the the, the steel plates underneath have uh, the armored plates have built themselves up. But the oil cracker, it's on its way. What was the other thing I had in here? Uh, oh right, I haven't even looked at, to see what the um, microelectronics factory can make. All right, so advanced computers needs gold, silicon, and plastic. It has the ability to make basic computers. Sweet. Uh, we can take that off of the fabricator. So we can go to fab. And we can say, don't need to make basic computers. Set. We can go then to the uh, micro electronics factory. And we can say, hey, you can make 100 basic computers. Excellent. Basic computers offloaded to the micro electronics. Sensor clusters requires glass, basic computers, copper, silicon, and nickel. Oh, cool. I can make this. Interesting. Sensor clusters. Um, as far as I'm sure, metal detectors did not have any sensor clusters in them. So, detectors. Right? There we go. Detect. All oh, the advanced computers. Damn. Um, but we c it's another piece down to make ore detectors. Excellent. Uh, Microelectronics. We also have displays, which require uh, copper, silicon, plastic, basic computers, and nickel, which, once we figure out how to make plastic, we're good. And the thermocouple, which is aluminum, silicon, copper, and plastic. So, we just need some plastic. This thing is working its way up as the plate stamp does its hard work ever so slowly, stamping me more more steel. I can't really speed this up at all. Just gotta wait for it. So, it looks like there is plastic needed. Is that part of the auto loom? I wonder. Ah, no. Synthetics factory. A synthetics factory uh, pro processes polymers into useful forms, produces synthetic plastic and rubber, and mixes asphalt. Okay, we're definitely going to need to do this. And also, this is running. <gasps> we get fuel, oil, carbon, sulfur, awesome, and polymer. Sulfur is used in crafting three different items. Ooh. And I'm guessing polymer is for plastic. Well, that's just wonderful. So then the synthetics factory needs to get plunked down somewhere. Uh, ooh, interesting. It has a connection on the back and a connection on the side. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if I can plunk it down like right here. I could connect up to the side. Ah, no, I'd have to braid in there. That wouldn't look very good. The connection on the back... Wait, wait, this is... How, how wide is this? This is three wide, right? Yeah. So it's three wide and three tall and, what, five long? Three, three by three by five. So... in the connection in the back is off-centered to the left. So this connection wouldn't fit for it. So it's not going to fit here. Um, 
Ah, this one's off center to the right side, so it's not going to fit here. I'm thinking it might fit at the end here if I just extend this out one more uh, piece of tray. While that thing is continuing to build. And I continue the... Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out a few of the uh, these blocks here as I get rid of the terrain here. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, tower is still rotating. Okay, good. <laughs> That's all that matters. And you are done. Excellent. And you can stop. Stop using up all my steel plate. God damn it. I need steel plate. I can fill this in. And if it's offset to the left side, that means we need to... Go, don't, don't, and then turn here. So we got another gap of two, and then whatever will be there. Okay. I can make that work. Uh, and with that conveyor set up in the place, this can just be plunked down and plugged right in there. Ho, 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 ho. Very nice. Of course, this is going to, again, take a little while to, uh, to build up. So, plug and uh, weld. Ooh, there we go. Synthetics Factory Online. And what do you do, Mr. Synthetics Factory? We have the ability to make asphalt from oil, sands, and gravel. Okay. We can make buoyancy foam from plastic. We can make plastic from polymer. Yay, we have plastic now. Okay. And we can make rubber from polymer. And we can make synthetic polymer from silicon, carbon, and sulfur. Interesting. So I guess I'll make it uh, make me 100 plastic, 100 rubber at all times. So that's for the synthetics factory. 100 rubber and 100 plastic. And now, yay, we have plastic products. This is awesome. I want to get that plastic first. As now, we can go back to things like the microelectronics factory, who needed the plastic for, say, displays and such. And we can say, hey, microelectronics, make me 100 thermocouples and 100 displays, please. Displays. 100 thermocouples at all times, please. And they can take in that aluminum, the plastic, and make awesome things about it. Uh, <laughs> yes! Okay! We're kicking ass here. Um, it has a walkway, although that is going into a, uh, a wall. I could have planned that out better. And I probably will once I make a more few... Uh, future and long-term base but with all of that oh am i getting close to the ability to make programmable soon D do programmables as far as i think i can make a programmable block now the the red and blue lines the hack and functional is below the advanced computers if i have three displays i can make a programmable and i can get the Solar tower tracking again. It's true. I can do it. I can do it. I can make the solar tower again. Yes, baby. I can do it. Okay. Microelectronics factory. Just, just, who needs thermocouples right now? Make displays. Make displays first. I just need three. One. Two. Three displays. 
He has 10 copper wire. All I need is, is, is wire, please. Somebody give me your wires. Just steal them. I think I need 20 in total. I can't remember. Well, that should be enough. I just need 15. But there I go! I have enough! Okay, let's go over to the tower. Let's put up the programmable block and get the solar tracking back online. And then when I need, when I get to them, I can add advanced computers here for the added durability, it seems. Program solar tracking. Here we go. Edit, browse scripts. Wait for it to show up. Solar, easy solar alignment. And then everything should be good because we already have solar rotors. It should just be like, no batteries found. Don't you want to store your power? No, I have, I'm storing it through hydrogen. Thank you very much. And if I pop back into spectator camera and fly back on over down here to the solar tower. It's moving again. Yay. I can I've done it! Ah, Solar Tower is now giving me my max power. Excellent. All right. So, uh, in total, what do we got here? All of our solar panels are back in position, giving us maximum awesomeness. Oh, I'm so glad about that. Major upgrades to the base here. Uh, synthetic? Did I finish? Yeah, that's finished the synthetics factory. What else do we have here? This thing is also making sulfur, which I believe we can process sulfur somehow, if I'm not mistaken. Which was the chemical refinery refines lithium, niter, and sulfur and extracts pure carbon. I believe we can make this. We have ceramics, right? We've made ceramics, correct? Uh, this thing is the cement kiln. It just makes concrete. Ceramics furnace makes ceramics. And that's with silicon and carbon. We never had carbon yet, but now we're getting a bit of carbon as we're push we're burning this up. As we're working through our oil here, we're getting a little bit of carbon. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Uh, that is this place. This is the ceramics. Okay. Uh, yes, make me a hundred ceramic, please. Hey, 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 hey. Now I have ceramic. Yes. And ooh, is it being used up by something? Oh, it's being used up by the plate stamp. What is it making? Plate stamp is use it up for Oh, um whatever these are. These are composite plates and armored plates. Armored plates, okay. What we'll, we'll want we'll get to armored plates. I like that. Um but composite plates now. So plate stamp you don't need composite plates yet. So we'll clear that off of there. But armored plates, sure. Uh, plate stamp is also full up on aluminum and iron. I'm just going to move that stuff into a cargo container for the brief moment, which I am actually actively running out of space again on the grid. Um, we have a little bit of space here left. And the plate stamp should recall for its resources soon. Right? Come on. Oh, no, wait. It can't get the titanium plate because it's in its output. It can't pull it into its inputs. See, that was one thing I really don't like is the fact that something can't pull from its output back into, in, into its inputs. But now it can call for... Oh, and also steel plate, which it can't call from its outputs either. So steel plate, titanium plate, and now we can make armor plate. <gasps> and if I can make armor plate, oh my god, so many things are just cascading, and now I can make this, and now I can make that. Um, Gatling turrets, although I need advanced computer, they need armor plate. Uh, other things need armor plate. Uh, cockpits, don't they? Um, 
they need armored glass as well, but they advance computers. Very cool. Oh my god, so many things. Everything's getting unlocked. Um, but we shall plunk down this chemical refinery. It needs 50 ceramic, which I think we should be able to do quite nicely. As long as that plate stamp doesn't steal them all. Don't you uh, steal all our ceramics, you silly plate stamp. You just make some armored plates and be done with it. Okay, let's get this thing down. So, chemical refinery, its pass-through is right there. It's off to one side, which is kind of annoying. Um, where the heck do I want to put this? Uh, ooh, ooh, it fits here. I get rid of this. I get rid of this. Because I don't need this anymore. And it can go literally right there. Plugged onto the end of that. Nice. It just snaps right in. But I need steel plate. Oh, because it still wants the freaking programmable block. There we go. <laughs> That's why I wasn't grabbing his steel plate. And start building. And there is the chemical refinery. Built up and done. This guy. Uh, what do you do here? So it, like it says here, finds lithium, niter, and sulfur, and extracts pure carbon from coal. So I should be able to do my sulfur into this. Let's just put in like a hundred sulfur. What? Is this not connected? Uh, what? Is the industrial assembler stolen all the sulfur? Oh, I think we're just like 100% out of resources. Like, not resources, um, cargo space. We need cargo, man. We need a large cargo container, which we can build now because we have displays! Uh, I am going to bury this large carbon container. I think that is the best chance at it getting into position. Uh, I want to bury a large carbon container in the wall, essentially, behind my base. Or just like underground, so that way it's nice and safe. I'm thinking, essentially, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I bring my camera over here, we go down into the dirt, I want to have it so that it is underneath one of these things. <sighs> you see how this here, this is a conveyor and not a armor block. I want a conveyor and then I want a cargo container down here under everything. How I can get that to place is gonna be an annoyance, but it is possible. This is right beside the refinery, or the sort of the assembler. So we're going down. We're making a hole. So now yes, conveyor junction. Okay, so we'll get everything we need for a conveyor junction. Then underneath this, we're gonna bury our cargo container. Be like buried treasure. It'll be wonderful. Eh. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Down and now we don't actually need to clear out all the voxel. All we need to do is have enough of a space that we can place this conveyor, like this thing. Because as long as we can place it, we can build it up. Uh, we do just need aluminum as well. Uh, also, I'm going to just do the normal car container. I want to do the good looking one, but I don't have the need to uh, 
worry about, oh, do I have this in the right orientation so that this will actually function? That's just, like, whatever. I'm not going to think about that. What I need is to just get this thing there. So unable to place, that's because I'm in the area for it. But I just need to be far enough back that I can place large cargo container. And now, I because that cargo container has a, a connection centered on every single side, it is going to be guaranteed to be aligned. So there we go. We have a large cargo container down at an underneath water level. And if I need to, I can just place more and more going back and just fill out this. It'll be nice and safe. That way, in the future, if the enemies attack, even if they destroy the entire base, I know that my buried treasure will survive. And I'll be able to get my various bits of buried treasure and uh, recover. Seven more wires. Oh my god, this is the, the, this, my little hole is flooding. <laughs> oh god. Thankfully I have a suit and I can actually be underwater without dying. And but once we have this large cargo container, I can just drain all the small ones into it. And then realistically, I can get rid of the small ones if I want to. Because we have a large one. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. And we can go large cargo and small cargo and commence the transfer. Just get it all over there. Oh, beautiful. It's gorgeous the amount of space we have now. <laughs> Ah, I'm so happy. Just these little things, like making a large cargo container on your base would be in normal space engineers. Ah, oh, yeah, I found some. Uh, I found some some cobalt. I made some grids. I have a large cargo, you know, sort of thing. No worries. No, nothing, none at all. But in industrial overhaul, oh, there's a big. It's a process. All right. So now we can start thinking about what. So plug that hole, and I can see down into my little hole. Now we can start thinking about what that building is doing. Also, I need food. Tofu. I want to start eating my tofu. Water. I actually ate all my tofu already. Damn. Okay, emergency rations. Still operating on those. Alright, now, what can you do? Chemical refinery. On that side's chemical refinery, this time, this side, it is the sulfur. Can you transfer over there? No. You are an output. You're not an input. Wait, what? I thought the chemical refinery says it pro refines sulfur. Oh, maybe like sulfur ore. Not sulfur ingots, essentially. Because this is sulfur ingots. Oh, okay. I understand now. cargo and then I'm just gonna do everything hide empty and I'm literally just gonna drain everything into this so that everybody can just like re-grab what they want and that way we don't have a bunch of just like random stuff sitting in particular places you know what I mean it's like the plate stamp can go get more of whatever it needs uh, those guys are not part of this. Put all that in here. Just get everything all cleaned up. 
uh, the gravel compressor. Is that sure? That fine. It can stay. It can keep its things. I'm just getting more stuff out of my pipeline hub. You done? Okay, now it's done. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Put all that stuff away. Get all that cleared out. And all that's left is just a large cargo container with absolutely everything that I own. That feels really, really good. That feels really good to have that. Like, I've made a significant advancement today in terms of infrastructure. All this stuff over here. Beautiful. I think the last thing to do before we end off the episode is see what we can make in munitions. We still need advanced computers. However, damn, they're, they're not above the red line. I wanted the advanced computers to be able to the red line so I could make munitions. But they're not. They're just above the hack line. That really sucks. So I can't make any munitions yet. I need gold. Uh, we do have a little bit of gold. That is true. So let's go take a look. We have... 86.7 gold that we salvage some stuff. We could use that to make gold wire, which then, when we have our microelectronics, we need to make the advanced computers. We need three gold wire per advanced computer. That would then say we need uh, 90 uh, gold wires to make the advanced computers for a munitions factory. 90 gold wires. And to make 90 gold wires for any of our wire drawers, which we do have multiple of, to make a gold wire, we need 0.6 of an ingot. So, doing the math here, 54 ingots. And we have... 26. We do not have enough advanced computers, or a gold, to make enough advanced computers to, to do this. So, no munitions for us yet. However, however, the wonderful, wonderful stuff that we are able to make now include... Oh, they just need a titanium plate. We have that now. And also, we should be able to, uh, in the oh, industrial, yes, it is the industrial. We can make acid power cells. We can make acid power cells. We can make batteries. Ah. <laughs> can't make lithium batteries yet. That's okay. But we can make acid batteries. Stores a moderate amount of power. Acid power cells are not reusable, so we can't grind it down and remake them, sort of thing. And they have 75% charging efficiency, so we're losing 25% of our power. But that is not that bad comparatively to what we were losing in our hydrogen production, where that was an 82% efficiency. It's not bad. And it's much simpler. You don't have to worry about having uh, hydrogen tanks. Highly volatile hydrogen tanks there. We can just have some massive batteries. And so I can now start building new boats. And I could possibly make planes. Because, ooh, ooh, where is it? There's got to be something here to make gas, right? We've, we've made oil. We have oil, right? We have fuel oil used in gasoline refinery. Where is the gasoline refinery? 
I need it in my life. Because if I can make gasoline... There it is. It's advanced computers. It only needs 25, though. Ooh, let's see if we have enough. Because if I can make gasoline, that's big. I'd love to be able to make gasoline. Uh, other than that, yeah, we have enough. So advanced computers. Again, uh, every advanced computer... I, I've already gone over this, but I've forgotten already. Every advanced computer needs three gold wire. Every gold wire needs 0.6 of a gold. So if I need 25 times 3 times 0.6, 45 gold. And I only have 20 something. So I don't have enough for that either. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, I guess the the next big thing is uh, improving our infrastructure a bit more in the sense that I need to make a dock because I'm going to be building more ships. So we're going to do that sort of double hinge dock that I've uh, been people recommending that I do. So we'll have a, we'll, we'll extend this platform out a bit more this way, probably just a, uh, like these three, extend, the, extend them out, then we'll put a hinge, and then extend the platform a bit more, then put another hinge, and then extend it again, and then put floaties all underneath that last bit, so that that whole thing will rise and fall with the tides. So I'll always be able to just come up to it and plug in with no issues, uh, unlike those other times where I would take the Wave Rider and I would get to a point and then, oh, I gotta wait for the tides for it to uh, to rise or lower so that I can actually plug in properly. And when, once that's done, I can take the wave rider and plug it in back over here. I can build another ship. I should add a uh, survival kit to the base, probably somewhere along here. I could probably add it like survival kit right, right there, or somewhere, somewhere conveyor it up would be nice. Actually, conveyor it up to hydrogen would be even better, so that way I can just access it and get some hydrogen out of it. Maybe even just like right here. But, we have made massive improvements to the base! Processing all sorts of new materials and unlocking various things. In the next episode, we'll be adding that dock, building another boat, too bad we can't get gas. If we could have gotten gas, I was tempted to make a gasoline engine. Because if I pop back into my character here, gasoline engine for small grid gives you 1.5 megawatts. And an atmo thruster, large one, for, this is for small grid, right? Oh yeah, because that's for large grid, holy crap. For small grid, uses 2.4. So with just, we got 1.5 and 2.4. So two of these would give you five megawatts of power essentially used up. And then what would we need? We would just need, you know, three or four of these gasoline engines. So four gasoline engines running and we could have a fully functional plane with a couple large thrusters in the back of it. Which, when you look at hydrogen engines, these only make 500 kilowatts. You would need like a dozen of these or something like that, which is ridiculous. So you need way more fuel efficient. Like the, the gas is gonna be way better fuel efficiency for us, which is gonna be amazing. So yeah, next episode, we're making a dock. We're starting to build a, another boat of some kind. I'm thinking just a speed boat for now. Just so that I have something I can skip off on the water to uh, go get some more resources. And we need gold. We gotta figure out how we're gonna get gold. 
But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.